Hi guys, what's going on? Good to see you again. Almost end of the August right now. And today in this episode, I would like to provide for you market update for local real estate market, Seattle and East Side locations. And I will talk about residential data only today. But before we jump into this big market update, I'd like to say thank you for all those 24 families who use already my services in 2021 to buy and sell homes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for your referrals, your friends and families. Thank you so much, guys, for or be with me, trust in, in me, and uh, your interest will be always on top of my mind. And now let's jump into this big market update. I will start with sales east side. So as you can see with me on the screen right now, we have 0.4 months inventory, very low inventory with about 360 uh, active listings and a medium sale price right now in sales east side, $1,330,000 and increase for 32% year over year. Number of listings selling about asking price about 73% and only 10% of all listings selling at asking asking price and 90% of all listings in sales east side selling less than 15 days on the market. Odds of selling in sales east side because of low inventory it's 93% is very high right now. But with that market is cooling down. We don't have as many offers as we have in May and June in months of July and the market is cooling down. A lot of buyers take vacations in August and left town. A lot of agents left town as well and we just have like one to two few offers on each property. Not as many because prices increase already a lot and affordability becomes some issue for some people and they just cannot get or touch those properties anymore. I will show you guys very interesting data, number of listings sold above list price. And you guys can see on this side, we have 73% listings in July sold above list price. And this is very similar like we have in May and June, that that number is not really drop much. Why is that? Because we have more inventory those years and we have very minimum inventory with those prices increase. Who's buying right now and who's selling right now? I can tell you guys uh, on this side, majority of people who sell right now they're between 45 and 65 years old and those people majority of those people moving outside of Washington state and who's moving in who's buying those homes uh, younger generations from 25 to 35 years old they moving into Washington state a lot of people moving in right now from California from Oregon from New York from different other states and they looking for a tech job which is available in sales east side and Seattle locations and and tech companies hiring a lot of people right now. All those young generations coming in right now and what they're looking to buy below a million dollars a price tag. So looking for, they're looking for condominiums, they're looking for townhouses, any residential properties right now available in the market for a lower and affordable price range. And some areas already increase a lot on the east side, uh, but some area is still have a lot of potential and going to be grow. If you guys need this information about future growth areas and which locations best to buy and what uh, I thinking is going to grow in the next couple of few years, reach out to me. I will be providing this information uh, and will you know help you to buy those properties. I will be answer all those questions you have. And right now, let's move in to Seattle market. In Seattle residential market, we have 0.7 months of inventory with a medium sell price 896,000 and uh, increased for 11% year over year. We have uh, more pending sales and uh, active uh, listings on the market as well in Seattle and 53% of all homes in Seattle selling above asking price and 22% selling at asking price. 81% of all homes in Seattle selling less than 15 days on the market. It's very strong number similar to sales east side but in sales east side it's even hotter market right now comparable to Seattle market. And odds of selling for all Seattle areas about 8 85% it's very strong data right now as well. 
And let's see if you guys a very interesting data for number of listings sold about list price. And you guys can see with me on the screen right now, we, in 2021 in Seattle, we have 53% listing uh, sold about list price. But So less homes selling above asking price. But if you compare this data to 2019, 2020, 2018, you guys can see in 2020 was 41% uh, listing sold about asking price, 2019 was 26, and 2017 was 56 it's almost like in 2021 i think in like 2017 and 2021 it's a very similar market for seattle right now and um, its hotness shows we have less inventory and that's why we have this is such a high number right now but again who's buying in seattle and who's selling in seattle in seattle we have a lot of people moving to again east side for the job it jobs locations and moving outside of the state of washington and who's buying right now in seattle buying uh, younger generations who move moving in from california and from new york and other states for those it and tech jobs available mostly in seattle east side we just compare like uh, first quarter second third and fourth quarter uh, we have similar data for seattle and sales east side uh, the number of listings decreasing decreasing every quarter so less and less and less and that tell us like we're moving slowly to the fall uh, time hotness of the market is over market is not as hot as was in may and june and uh, a lot of people take, go to vacations a lot of agents left town for vacations and right now we don't see as many offers as we used to see in the may and june right now we have one two two offers on the property but some property pass offer review date and they don't have any offers so and buyers have opportunity to buy those homes and you know get probably better deal than you used to be able to do it this in the May in June time and they have to compete with 20 other buyers for the same home so right now is the opportunity to buy right now is a great time and if you guys need help with that reach out to me I would love to be your real estate resource another important thing is um, in Seattle, like very interestingly, Seattle City Council decided to go this year with Waterfront Local Improvement District lead. And they decided to do assessments for all, all about 6,000 properties, 6,000 condominiums, small businesses, large businesses, specifically in downtown Seattle. And they decided to uh, fund it $737 million for this park project 160 million will be funded by people by residents who live in these specific locations so some residents going to be receive this letter end of this year and uh, they're going to be paid between five maybe ten thousand dollars assessments for each property it has to be paid at closing if they sell this property now or has to be paid by the future buyer and some property will receive between twenty four thousand to hundred thousand dollars bill to pay by city and those taxes are going to be lineable the property and has to be paid anyways if you ask me questions if that's a good time for city council to move with assessments for people to pay up to hundred thousand dollars in covid time i don't think so for city maybe it's a good things to do because they're going to be improved and they're going to be build these beautiful parks on the waterfront but for people who live in these locations uh, it's maybe it's not the best timing to do this right now but that's what we have right now that's what's happening i decided to bring this for you guys to give you latest update what we got from the city today if you guys have any questions reach out to me i would love to be a real estate resource and stay tuned stay healthy until next time Make a fantastic week. Bye now.